Good evening, gladiators. We who are about to play salute you. Hey everyone, welcome to part four of my World of Warcraft series. This may be the final part. It's been about a week since the last one, and when we last uh, left Azeroth, we were deep in Westfall doing some quests, hoping to level up enough to get into the first instance of the game, Deadmines. Let's see if we get there tonight. Without further ado, put on your swords, your sandals, strap on your shield, and grab your hearthstone before we head to the world of Warcraft. All right, here we are with the uh, Zaladin the Paladin, level 11. So as you notice, I'm uh, once again in my dressing gown. It's uh, not even that late at night, but it is still winter in uh, Australia. Um, it does get cold here, you know. You wouldn't think of it. Australia is usually uh, known as a bit of a hot country, but uh, we do have some chilly winters. Um, once I put my son to bed, um, often I'll just get into my dressing gown. Uh, the wife is out tonight, so um, I had a bit of time to actually play some games. Um, usually I'll do a bit of work on my own stuff and we'll watch uh, a bit of TV together and so on and spend some time together. Uh, but on the nights that she's out, um, it's a good time to play some games. And it's been almost a week since uh, the last video, so I thought it was time to um, check in and see if we can you know, finish off this little uh, World of Warcraft four-part special. I've had a lot of fun playing the game, that's for sure. Uh, I thought it would go for three or four parts, but um, I wasn't sure completely. Do, 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 do. Loading, loading, please wait. All right, here we go. Can't remember what we were doing, actually. Um, we were somewhere in Westfall doing quests. Here we are. Furl Browse Pumpkin Farm in the evening as i mentioned in every video i always seem to be playing this game at night and so uh, look at this pair of boots that's odd i think that's a bug let's do this quest shall we Adventure guide. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Ah, I didn't know about this. This is a new thing. It kind of teaches you. Ah, oh, wow. So you can actually go. All right. A little bit of information about each dungeon. Some stuff about each boss. Wow. That's really cool. I didn't know that. Raids. Look at all these. This is all just in the um, vanilla edition without all the expansions. There's way more. Um, some great ones here. I've done all these. And with another character. That's cool. Molten Core is uh, a big one. Yeah. Let's do that. Dark Shore. We'll accept that. Tidy Tales and Dirt, little fetch and retrieve quest, but we were doing this Parting Thoughts one, so we should continue that, right? What was the eavesdropping on thugs behind the farmhouse? These? Are you a thug? Transient. Not necessarily a thug, but thuggish enough. So um, I'm playing the starter edition of the game. I used to have a subscription to WoW, but um, obviously don't play it anymore. But with the starter edition, you can actually um, get up to level 20 for free, which is kind of cool. Are these the thugs? Hey, thugs. listen to them rather inconspicuous they don't seem to be bothered by me do they 
<laughs> I bet I have to beat them up though. Ah, eavesdropper. Are you ready to receive the hammer of justice? Come on. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are no match for my power. Yeah, barely even. Oh, and then there's a uh, druid has turned up. Thank you, druid. See you later. Thanks for your help. What the hell? Hurry back to the cottage. Drama-rama. Scream. Well met. <laughs> Someone's killing coyotes for um, teeth. Do you want to do that one? Reluctantly. Yeah, let's do that because we need to level up a little bit. So, do a little bit of this grinding. Hey, coyote. Oh, no, that's not a coyote. That's a gore tusk. Poor bastard. Didn't deserve his fate. Ah, let's not bother doing that. That's a boring quest. It's too dull. We'll ignore that for now. We'll get the dirt though, because if we do run into coyotes, we might as well have the dirt as well. And there's one anyway. Yeah, we might have to do this quest of incidentally, you know what I mean? As, as often is the way. So I got a, um, some really nice comments on uh, these WoW videos. Not that many comments, not that many views either really. But the people that have watched it, um, I've said they do enjoy the long form videos. It almost feels like a podcast, something you can put on in the background and enjoy um, while you're doing a bit of work. And I often listen to sort of long form um, podcasts and things while I work. Because pilot is, I guess, you don't always want to, um, you know, have to choose something new every 20 minutes. You don't have to think about it. So if you have, you know, um, something you can just listen to. It's too far away. Why not? So that's cool. So, you know, um, this season of the Games Gladiator will be wrapping up shortly as I um, really start knuckling down on my own game dev. But probably at the end of the year, I'll um, bring back Games Gladiator for season three and, you know, we'll do some long form videos like this one. We'll pick up a couple of other games. I've got um, a few ideas, maybe Skyrim. Um, would be a good one for a four-parter or five-parter, depending on how much I enjoyed it. I've got mixed feelings on Skyrim, so it'd be a fun one to try out. Um, a couple of the games that I really like, I mean, maybe even Sekiro deserves a proper playthrough, right? We only played that briefly. Or Dark Souls 3, you know, playing it properly. Or something new. Come back here. So yeah, it's actually kind of funny. I um, knew that I had to do this fourth part of the um, video series, but I kind of this week I've been so busy with other stuff. I thought, ah, oh, you know, I'll play a bit of WoW, but I'm not sure what I'm actually going to say. Um, these videos are completely unrehearsed, as as you know, and. Sometimes you think, oh, I'm not sure what I'll have to talk about Warcraft later this evening. Maybe it'll just come to me. Look at this tiny harvester. That's really cute. That's awesome. I'm fighting. <laughs> but as I always like to say, I want these videos to feel very much like a conversation between a couple of mates, a couple of friends. You know, pretend we're sitting here having a beer or, 
you know, coffee or tea or whatever. In this instance, I've actually got water. Coffee coming later. And as is the case, conversation is often very freeform. You know, you never know quite um, where it's going to go next. And, and it should feel like that. Um, you know, after 90 something episodes, I would imagine, you know, we're good friends by now. Uh, you guys and me. One of the things I really want to do. Um, da -da, got a month high into experience. Huzzah. What does she sell? Maybe you can buy some crap. One of the things I'd really like to do is well, I sell some of this junk. Do a long form series on the Swords and Sandals games, which would be awesome. Oh, there's some new stuff there. Didn't realize I had it. I should be opening those things rather than selling them. Good day to you. Let's have a look what we got. Ah. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to use... Ah, uh, yeah, because I got a two-handed weapon. I can't use that as well. And... Where's my sword gone? Ah, quest. Get that quest as well. Hardcore carapace. I've forgotten how to compare. Oh yeah, that's it. Do we want this one? No, we don't. The one I've got is actually better. All right, that's what we hold down the shift key. Things you forget. Where to next, my friends? Do we do that treasure one, the little uh, Captain Sanders one? Ah, oh, go away. There's a logging camp one, which is a long way away. But I wouldn't mind going to the um, undead area. I forgot it's called um, Duskwood as well. Let's head to this one, though. I think this continues that little quest we've been doing. Oh, go away. Alright, this might be a surprise. We're dead. And the reason is, and you might have noticed there's a bit of a jump in the video then, but what happened was um, the video itself stopped recording for whatever reason. And um, while I was um, fixing up the problem, an um, unscrupulous harvest watcher came and killed me. So uh, that's weird. <laughs> and so we missed a couple of... Um, you missed a few minutes of me playing and still talking um, but what I was really doing was um, just resurrect now so this is death anyway I killed some harvest watchers but death is in this weird nether region where nothing can see you you have to go back to your graveyard and then you can come back and we're back but these two bastards attacked me while I was uh away from the keyboard which is an evil thing to do and uh, they must now pay the ultimate price take that my f evil friend one of the things I used to hate about the early days of the game it's probably easy now but was that kind of running back to the graveyard or to your grave it really kind of felt tedious especially if um you died in a dungeon or something and you had to come back from outside the instance and run back and all your friends had kept going so what you missed was just basically me killing harvest watchers um these are giant sort of uh scarecrows basically mechanical scarecrows almost look like 
I'm pretty sure they were inspired by um, the 80s horror character um, Freddy Krueger uh, from the Nightmare on Elm Street because they have the big claws and the hat who himself was kind of inspired by a scarecrow anyway. I like that um, hand of reckoning, that new skill, it's quite cool. How many more do we get to kill? Three more. And another jump. For some reason, the videos keep stopping while I'm actually recording, so I've got to keep an eye on it. It's very strange. What you missed was me doing a strange little uh, harvest golem quest where I actually um, sort of morphed into a one of those harvest golem creatures and killed 25 of them very quickly. Um, it's kind of an interesting little diversion. It's a bit clunky. That was the thing there, this sort of circle of uh, lightning there. Sorry, this whole video is rather disjointed tonight, even by uh, Games Gladiator standards. Take that. Oh. <laughs> Why are you joining that fight, Joe? This wasn't your fight. And now you must pay the ultimate price. I'm right, take that. So, where to now, friends? Where to now? We'll go through the field, turn in this quest. Then we might go across to um, Duskwood, which I want to show you a different area of the game. We've been here a while. Go away, look. Oh, God. Leave me alone. Take that. Need help? It's alive. So now we've got some good gloves. Light bless you. Much better. And if we decide to keep walking here, this should take us to um, Duskwood. This is one of my more, one of the more memorable areas of the game for me. Right now, we're too low level to, um, and we've died again. Um, and the reason is because the video keeps stopping, and I try to fix it, and then I get killed. Um, bad news is, I don't think I can fix this. I don't know what the story is. It's my um, recording software. But it could mean a premature end to the um, World of Warcraft retrospective. Sadly, um, it's disappointing because I was having a lot of fun, but um, this is annoying for you guys and it's annoying for me. What you missed was I'd actually gone over to Duskwood, which is um, just there on the banks. But we're gonna get out of here. I'd fought a bear, I'd beaten a bear. One of these bears, very similar to the one that's chasing me all the way over here. This is outrageous. But yeah, this is basically what happened. The bear has followed me all the way across the river and killed me. Put me in a very... So we're actually in Duskwood now. We're in the... Um... Okay. Yeah, which is annoying because I wanted to do a good another hour on this, but we're going to have to cut it short and this video is going to seem a bit jumpy. I'll get back to the graveyard, see if it works this time. But over this sort of three and a half hours or so, I've had a lot of fun playing WoW. Um, I'll definitely miss it, you know. Um, this over this last couple of weeks, it's a really... 
I'm, the word that comes to me is hypnotic. It's, it, the game is a hypnotizing game. It sort of gets into this trance that sort of it's relaxing in parts and uh, frantic in other parts. And, you know, it looks old, it looks very old, but it doesn't matter. It's super playable still. And it's a fun world, you know. Back in Westfall, I'd gone over to Duskwood because I wanted to show you guys this undead area, but uh, it didn't record. There's a Dust Devil. Maybe we can fight him just for some fun. I want, It's so disappointing because the one good fight I had against that bear would actually... I beat a character that was eight levels higher than me for some skill, and it didn't record. So what are you going to do, huh? Oh, well. It's probably a good thing. Um, I really should be getting back to my own game development with Spider is because I said I'd finish it before the end of the year so I could start working on um, uh, the next Swords of Sandals game you know unfortunately I didn't get to play that many games um, other than the you know little time I spent with games gladiator videos just because uh, game dev and having a family and you know having other pastimes like reading books and spending time with my wife and you know socializing getting old I wouldn't say gaming is a young person's pastime but you certainly have a lot more time and energy to do it when you're young that's for sure what we're gonna try and do is while it's still recording I'm looking over at the um, the recording clock uh, just to oh, I don't know why I was locking that I'm going to try and go to the dead mines. I'm going to go in there and see if I can get down there. Because so we've got to get this done, right? You know, I said I would. I said I'd get to an instance and start a dungeon. And damn it, we're going to try. So if it does stop, then you'll just have to forgive me. I'll go away. Take that. It's funny how nostalgia can really kind of um, cloud our judgment on an old game, but this one I feel like still holds up even with all that. With the rose colored glasses kind of off. And that's partly because I have done so many sort of improvements to the game. I look at these guys chasing me. What lizards? Go back to your zone. Probably level 12, yeah. Definitely not even close to high enough to um, solo it, but hey, let's try, right? We deserve that. We should try. I wonder why the recording keeps stopping. This has never really happened before. Well, very rarely. Oh, I didn't want to do that one. Ah, uh, you know what we can do? Let's go to the map. We're going to go down here. That's where the instance should be. So if I go to adventures, I want to go to, not Black Fathom Depth, no. I want to go to Dead Mines. I'd like to show me on the map. Oh, that's a map. I don't know where that exactly it is. I'm pretty sure it was down here though. So we're going to go down here, see if we can get there. I bet this ends up being close to an hour long video anyway, even with all these pauses. Ah, oh, go away, bird. I'm ruining my trouble guide to Azeroth. Why are the natives so aggressive? The uh, native fauna. They just attack everything on sight. I really wish I had a mount, you know. Um, it would be fun just to be able to ride across this area. Or fly. But unfortunately, Zalo the Paladin has no such thing. Neither the gold, nor the level, nor the means. Not yet, anyway. Actually, not 
Not sure what the level requirements for a mount are. I wonder if we get to level 13 before we reach there. Because every little bit helps. We're not that far off. Here's our map. Hidden treasure there. I should have gone that, but I should have done that one too. Oh well. Should have, could have, would have. And we're still recording. It's uh, a small miracle. What are you guys playing at the moment? Uh, let me know in the comments. I'd uh, be keen to know what is popular and what um, have you found a little indie treasure that you're you may be playing that no one else knows about or you um, playing sort of you know, Fortnites and I visited my uh, nine-year-old nephew and niece uh, who's a little younger we went down there and saw them on the weekend down the coast and um, they're still playing a lot of Minecraft that has legs that game is still popular even today it's a big hill I saw a video the other day that actually um, Microsoft are doing ray tracing for Minecraft. It's really cool. Is that deadlines? Whoa! <laughs> what the hell is that? But yeah, the ray tracing is really cool. It actually... Um, the game still looks in you know, a classic blocky Minecraft, but it um, has a real um, sense of style to it now. So the gold blocks look all, um, you know, reflective and ice looks like it has a kind of refraction to it. Well, that's not where Dead Mines is. I think it's down here. Let's kill that guy. Get our level up. So close. Two more kills will do it. Then we can go into the mines and get our asses handed to us. Proverbially. Greetings. It's a big pig. I can't carry anymore. Oh yeah, we leveled up. There you go. Was it in here? There used to be all these bandits around. But that was before, you know, I think they changed the world a lot in Cataclysm and so on. Should be able to go in here. Defias, yeah, these are the bandits. This leads to the instance somewhere. A thug attacking me for no reason, a fully armed paladin. It's a foolish thing to do with thug. I love it that these guys are completely like oblivious to the battle. But the entrance to the mines somewhere around here, there we go. Down and down and down. There's a cat. Or a druid cat. The dead mines. I promise you we would get there and here we are. And of course we're doing this without accepting a quest or anything like that, so we won't be getting any particular rewards or anything, just having a bit of fun. So the homeless people have moved in here. This used to be a real uh, bandit hideout. Not sure what the story is, but Westfall is a, in a much sorrier state than when it used to be, although, you know, less bandits, but 
get to this entrance in the mines somewhere. Little person is following me around, but neither of us seem to know where to go. <laughs> I always get lost in these kind of um, areas. Go down here. When in doubt, actually look at the map. That's a smart thing to do, right? Lots of shinies. If we had the mining, we could mine that. But we don't. Oh, what's this? It feels further than it used to. I don't remember the uh, dead mines taking so long just to get to the actual. This isn't the dungeon. This is just the sort of the mines above it. It might be that we need to actually trigger a quest or something to get it working, but I don't seem to remember that. I thought you could just go into any dungeon instance you found, and that may be the case. If we jump down here. Are you lost? I'm lost. You there. Which way to the dungeon? Not that way. Aren't you glad the video is all working now? <laughs> this is so exciting, me wandering around lost. Yeah, these grifters. Grifters and troublemakers. Ah, there we go. Into our first instance. Hello. That's uh, worrying. It's supposed to be loading, but it's not doing anything. <laughs> We're not having a lot of luck tonight, are we, my friends? I'm going to pause. And hopefully come back when this is loaded all right we're back it's loaded finally so welcome friends to the dead mines I suspect this is going to be tricky what can I do for you be careful turn in the quest for some reason we actually were supposed to turn that in here so Maybe that was correct. King's honor, friend. So our first enemy is higher level than us. Everybody's higher level than us. And there's three of them. <laughs> I love that I thought I was going to be able to solo this because we're actually going to die in the first fight. <laughs> that was miserable. Dead, dead, dead. Uppercut. We'll give up one more go. But I'm not hopeful. I think after this we might go and fight Anixia or the Lich King or Deathwing. Solo Deathwing with our level 13 Zalad and the Paladin. Sure. Why not? You there. You've been challenged. 
No. We definitely need a party, and I need to be much higher level. Because I can't take these guys down. Alright. What we're going to do... We're going to... Return to the tavern. In case I do want to play this game again, uh, it'd be nice to be holed up somewhere, which I know, rather than in a hellish instance of a dungeon. Well, looting, looting, looting. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the um, WoW retrospective, really. I'm back in uh, Elwyn's Forest in a tavern. Let's go sit in front of a fireplace. Keep warm. I forgot what the sit down button is, but we'll stand in front of it anyway. And good a place as any to rest. The tavern. That's it. That's World of Warcraft as it stands in 2019. The game first came out in uh, you know 2004, 2005, and still growing strong after all these years and six or seven or eight expansions. Uh, it's one of my favorite games of all time, and it's a game that uh, I put many, many hours into uh, over the span of about a year, and uh, you know I um, come back to it occasionally just to check it out. Um, if you've never played it, it, it's you know worth playing just for you know curiosity's sake. Um, it's not for everyone. It's a massive time sink. If you don't have time for it, it's probably not the game for you. Um, if you're looking for something to you know fill a void or you know you just want to get into it, a really interesting world, it is uh, still an interesting game. Um, still an amazing world, and you know. One day I will play this with a couple of friends and we'll go through it all and, um, you know, solo the content. Maybe when I'm retired, I'm uh, rich off the money from Sword and Sandals 6. <laughs> Who knows? All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me on this four-part World of Warcraft retrospective uh, Games Gladiator video. Uh, it's been a fun ride and uh, I'll see you again with another game on the next Games Gladiator sometime. Bye for now.